If you're new to blockchain or Steam specifically and still don't quite get what those private and public keys are all about, this video and its companion article are for you. For a little context, one of the projects we're currently working on at Steemit is splitting the open source software that powers Steemit.com called Condenser into two separate applications that will work together seamlessly. Basically, the social website will be one app and the crypto wallet will be a separate app. But the user experience between these two apps will be even better because the two applications will be more secure and optimized for their specific functions. This kind of separation of concerns is similar in concept to the different types of keys every Steam account holder is given when they create an account. These keys unlock different levels of control over one's account. One of the advantages of the upcoming split is that we'll be able to create a more intuitive user experience with respect to the use of one Steam keys. So we wanted to take this opportunity to educate any new users or users who are still confused by the private key system on what these keys do and how they can be used safely. In this video, we're gonna focus primarily on the posting key and master password as these help explain the overall design of Steam's private key system. Steam's private keys are hierarchical, which means that each one enables the key holder to perform a wider variety of activities with the associated account. The posting key is at the bottom of the hierarchy because it can do the least. It can only be used to perform social activities like posting, commenting, upvoting, and downvoting. While these activities are common, they don't require a high level of security because they don't authorize any operations which can negatively impact token balances. To retrieve your posting key, go to the permissions tab inside your Steemit wallet. Your public posting key will be at the top of the page and alongside it you'll see a button that says show private key. When you click on that button, you'll be prompted to input your active key or master password. Once you do so, your private posting key will be displayed. At this point, you might want to consider saving this key to a password manager like LastPass or Dashlane for safe storage. A user's keys are vulnerable anytime they're entered into a web application. A malicious actor or a hacker could create a fake interface that requests your keys, which is called phishing, or they could gain access to keys stored in memory or browser cookies. Having a posting key ensures that the key that's used the most and is therefore the most likely to be acquired by a malicious actor, conveys the least authority. Even if a hacker does get this key, the only things they can do with the account are the social activities and not the financial. Because the posting key has the fewest authorities, there's no harm in always attempting to use the posting key if you're not confident about which key should be used. In other words, if all of this sounds confusing, all you need to remember is to always use your posting key. If a key with higher authority is required to perform the action, you will be informed by the interface that the posting key is insufficient and that another key is required. In the vast majority of those cases, you'll then use your active key. But remember to be more cautious in those circumstances. That being said, the posting key can certainly be abused too, so users should always be vigilant. And we'll continue to release videos and posts like this one to educate users about how they can protect themselves within the Steam ecosystem. While a hacker acquiring a posting key might be unpleasant for the account holder, as long as the rightful account owner still has their master password or their owner key, they can always change all the other keys and regain total control over their account. One might wonder why the master password isn't also called a key. That's because all of the keys are actually derived from this single password. In other words, the master password is kind of the real password for the account, or what is technically called the seed. That's why it can be used to perform any function on Steam, from social activities to financial activities. Its convenience has led many to use this password for everything, but this is the precise opposite of its intended use. Since keys can be used to do any activity in Steam apps like Steamit.com, the master password should be securely stored in a password manager like LastPass or Dashlane or offline entirely and only used for highly trusted applications, minimizing the risk it could be acquired by a malicious actor. Remember, you're not likely to use this password ever. 
Therefore, sacrificing some convenience for the benefit of security is a worthwhile trade-off. Users should always be careful when signing into any site that requests any of their private keys. We at Steemit Inc. can only speak to the security of Steemit.com. Otherwise, we recommend only signing into websites through Steam Connect, which is an open source, universal login layer for Steam apps that we helped co-develop. Think of it as Facebook Connect for the Steam ecosystem. For those users who want to avoid putting their private keys into Steam-powered websites entirely, they can use the Keychain extension created by the Steam Monsters team. Keychain stores Steam keys in a browser extension which can automatically provide the appropriate keys when prompted by a Steam app, thereby forgoing the need for users to expose their keys by copy and pasting them into a website. The goal of this video was to focus primarily on the posting key and master password because understanding these two items delivers the most insight into the overall design of the system. The posting key is at the very bottom of the hierarchy because it grants the least authority, but it's also the key Steemian should be using the most since it governs social functions. The master password, on the other hand, is at the very top of the hierarchy because it grants the most authority and is almost never necessary. We'll cover the rest of the keys in future posts and videos, so if you found this informative, be sure to subscribe and follow us on steemit.com at steemitblog. And please, share this post with anyone who's trying to gain a better understanding of the private key system or private keys generally. Thank you, and steam on.